Now then, ladies and gents, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. I'm on the banks of Windermere today, going to be trying a few different spots, and the aim is perch fishing. So I've neglected the perch fishing a bit this year because I've been so focused on the bass and a few other bits and bobs. I just thought I'd really try and return back to it and catch a few nice ones before the summer's over. So I'm going to be doing a bit of spot hopping on one of England's most beautiful lakes and hopefully we'll be able to get onto a few fish and maybe even a big one. So no surprises at all here with the rod. We have the rigged and ready semi-telescopic fish rig 180 and then the RR1000 fixed ball spin and reel. 12 pound braid, 12 pound fluorocarbon I think, or it might be eight. Bit heavier than what I need, but better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? Well, no prizes whatsoever for guessing where's first on the agenda. You're all well aware of this spot and how good it can be. So without further ado, let's get fishing. There she is, sports fans. This jetty is an absolute dream to fish most of the time. No, I'm sorry, but you might have to excuse the rather intense squeaking of uh, this jetty. I won't be here for long. Yeah, I'm seeing these perch right at my feet, so I just thought, why not start here where I can see the bait fish? If you see the bait, that's where the predators are likely to be. Fish on, fish on. Just cast it into the bait fish. And there you go. Well, we're off the mark with a beautiful little perch. No record breaker, but it's always good to get that first one on the bank. Look at all of them. They are quite small though, and the ones that are feeding on them aren't that much bigger. They're only tiny little perch, so I'm sort of struggling to figure out what to do here. Maybe I'll change to a slightly darker colour. Right, first cast of the spinner. Come on. Hopefully this is going to change the game because right now there is a lot of fish and I'm not getting any bites at all. Oh, oh I just had some bites then, funnily enough. Fish on, I think, unless it's come off. No, we've got one on. Come on, that could be the smallest fish so far, but we've got another one on. Look at that, on a size two spinner. Gonna try and catch a big one today, he says. That's a real expectation versus reality moment there. So I have to admit that was a lot harder than I expected. Only two small perch, but I suppose it could have been worse. I could have caught nothing, couldn't I? Uh, if you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk back to the car, get all packed up and drive to a new spot somewhere else. Maybe somewhere new, maybe somewhere I've fished before. Just see where the old road takes me. Try to catch a couple more perch for you. So I'll see you when I'm there. So I'm now just walking down to a very busy area. There's going to be a lot of people around me, a lot of boats. No idea if there's going to be fish here, but there's a few little jetties, so. Perch love a jetty, don't they? Doesn't seem to be too many fish around these parts. Have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of fishing around hundreds of tourists either, but I suppose this is going to be my last little swim and then I'll head somewhere where I know there's fish. Just trying the next spot for the day. Just getting the telescopic out. Seen some fish down there already. Fish on, fish on, come on, yes, get in. So at long last, after quite a lot of spot hopping today, a beautiful perch and look at the colours on that. Again, not breaking any records, but what a lovely looking fish the perch is. So after just snagging and losing my lure, I've had some little perch, some tiny little perch, nibbling my knot between my fluorocarbon leader and my braided main line so i've come up with what i deem to be quite a genius little idea actually so i'll show you this little plan i've got now 
No doubt that this has been done before by someone, but this isn't the done thing really. So I'm going to show you my inventive little technique and let's see if it'll work. So what we have here is a paddle tail jig on a two gram jig head down on the bottom of the fluorocarbon leader. And then we've got an even thinner line of mono coming off with a tiny little fly. I don't know if this is going to work, but I think it just might, you know. So I'm predicting a possible tangle here quite sharpish. I don't know if this is going to work at all to be honest. I hope I get one on it though, I hope I get one on the fly. That would be so funny. Then to be fair if it works I'll probably end up using this technique more than I'd be willing to admit. So I've just swapped to something white because I soon realised when I put that other one down in the water it wasn't very visible at all. I've slightly shortened the leader so I am confident for this. Oh. Fish on. Fish on. Come on, that's not a bad one either. Oh, it's off. I've just lost a nice one there. Got it. Ooh. That's a big perch, that. A pike's got it. A pike's got it. Whoa, Georgia, come and look at this quick. A big pike has got it. That's a monster. Look over here. Oh, a big pike has just grabbed my birch egg. Oh, it's, it's come up, it's let go. Oh, that was a massive pike. It went for the secret plan. It went for it. So look at that, this perch has just been absolutely nailed. I have never in my life had that happen to me. It has been crunched and that's a pretty big perch as well. Let's get this fish back and hopefully it lives. Swam off strong. I can't believe that has just happened. That was easily a double figure pike. I'm saying mid doubles, 12, 13 pound. It had fully made a mess of that perch as well, poor thing. But the surprising thing about that, well, it was a double surprise really, was that the perch had the little uh, fly in its mouth. So it had gone for the fly, not the jig, which is surprising but it's shown that the plan worked i suppose oh fish on it's gone for the fly again another fish straight away after the first and on the small fly again incredible And another. That's guzzled the jig, that. So these fish are coming a bit quicker now. That is another lovely Windermere perch. Let's get it back. I'm sort of glad that pike let go because I'd have never landed it. Oh, I just had a good take then. Fish. It's not big. So I hope it unhooks itself. Another nice perch, quite a small one. Happy to be getting them though. Got another. Same. Same again, yeah. Got one. No monster, but it's another perch. Another two out of the tally. Thanks for watching as always. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'll catch you down the road.